Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to be doing a time lapse to look at the multiband 6 functionality on these Casio G-Shock watches. The reason I'm doing this video is because this watch has been receiving a signal just fine every night. The watch on the right hand side, the module 3495, has not been receiving a signal. So I'm going to put them in the exact same location and I'm going to basically use the exact same parameters. They both have the same home location set, they both have high battery levels, uh, they both have the um, automatic receive function turned on, and they're both sitting in the exact same location. If one of them receives a signal, the other one should receive a signal, and I'm hoping to get the time updated on my Square G-Shock. So let's put on the time lapse and let's see what happens. Okay, so that took a lot longer than I expected it would. It took six days in order for me to successfully pull a reception. These atomic watches are really interesting. A lot of people think their watch is broke or they've got something set wrong on their watch. They both sat here for six days in the exact same location. Every morning it tried to pull an atomic signal. Every morning it failed. For whatever reason today, they were successful. A lot of times it has to do with your weather pattern. If you've got a weather pattern that's sitting over you, it can prevent the watches from pulling a signal. Today, uh, everything worked just fine. The watch on the left-hand side is the GW9010. What's cool with it is you've got this G indicator up here in the top middle. That G indicator tells me that for the current day, it successfully pulled an atomic signal and set the time. The watch on the right-hand side is the GW5610. It does the same thing. It's got a little received up here in the top left. It shows the same thing, that it successfully pulled a signal. It's not as cool as the G uh, on the uh, left-hand side, but it still gives you an indication that your time was successfully set. On both watches, if you press the bottom right button, you can see the time and date of your last successful pull. They're set for the same home location. They're both sitting in the same location in my house. They both pulled the uh, atomic time at the exact same time on September 1st, which is today, at 12.05 a.m. Anyway, kind of fun stuff. It's kind of fun to look and see how these atomic watches work, how they pull the signal at nighttime. I hope the video helped. 